Hello and welcome to a special Flash podcast, SCP Cafe. I'm your host, Blue Soul, SCP Wiki moderator, chat operator, subreddit moderator, author, loving husband, and Flash news bringer. I said I was going to do this on Wednesday. I lied. More stuff's come up, and I want to get this out just a little bit sooner, so... Uh, here goes nothing before I get to what was supposed to be the big reveal. I had uh, something, uh, some news that you guys are probably more interested in than that, and that is uh, we've had a new contest announcement, and it is a new Jam Contest. This is Jam Con 2. This is 144 hours long, going from March 9th to the 15th. Uh, Community Outreach is running this. Uh, the contest is broken up into three 48-hour periods. Uh, at the beginning of each period, a theme will be announced, and from the moment the theme is announced, you will have 48 hours to write an article uh, with a 24-hour grace period. You won't be able to actually post anything uh, until 24 hours have passed since the announcement. And uh, that is... that's the contest. Um, last time we did a JamCon, uh, there were over 120 entries posted in three days. Um, yeah, that's going to be problematic for the cafe pod. Um, I have about what, two, three weeks to figure out how the hell I'm going to go about this, but, uh, we'll see. Um, right now, I think what I'll do, given that it is, it runs from the 9th to the 15th, that is from a, uh, from a Saturday to a Friday. So it's one day off of our normal programming schedule. What I might do is push that, uh, week cafe back one day and cover all of the jam con stuff in one week uh we'll see i mean if we're talking like 200 skips uh i really don't know what i'll do <laughs> I, I might have to call jam con out of scope except for the discussion of the winners uh or the really high posters that you know after a little time has passed uh but we'll see um this is a good problem to have a lot of skips to cover so uh that's JamCon, just announced yesterday. Uh, community Outreach, uh, they've done these before. Super, super popular. They want to do it again. I don't blame them. So uh, kind of get ready for that. That's starting uh, in a few Saturdays from now, uh, March the 9th. Other big site news. Uh, just finalized yesterday the results of our staff promotions for uh, winter slash early spring. Uh, we had uh, eight promotions, uh, seven from junior staff to operational and one from operational to moderator. So our new op staff, uh, Alces, Alces, Crook and Bush, Gabriel Jade, uh, TSAT, Storm Breath, Uncle Nicolini and Uranium Empire all made it with a pretty good uh, vote uh, percentage from the uh, existing OS mods and admins. Uh, so they have all been promoted from junior staff to operational and Veraxis, uh, promoted from, uh, from operational staff to moderator. So some new faces around, uh, in the, uh, in the staff chat, um, happy to see them around. Uh, this was overall a very good bunch of, of folks. I'm really excited about this, uh, about this, uh, class, if you will. Um, and I know, uh, a lot of these users are gonna, you know, be a, a a huge asset to the site. I'm I'm really glad to have them. Now, last but not least, uh, I have kind of teased this for a few weeks that I had an announcement to make of some significance. Um, I'm not quite ready to fully roll the thing out, but I do want to go ahead and start talking about it because there's a lot uh, of different component pieces that make it up, and I think I would just as soon get the word out early. Um, SCP Cafe is going to be opening a store. Now, the exact organization of it is uh, through the parent uh, LLC that I've registered for, for all of this. Um, I started an LLC back in December to uh, hold the podcast and a lot of my SCP stuff. And I have been working very hard on covering a lot of different facets of what would make this, you know, far and away the best store out there for SCP Foundation anything. And I think I have a few things that set it apart from anything else being offered right now. Uh, first of all, 
what I have set up, and I believe I am the only place that is going to be doing this, I will be directly contributing 5% of all profits on the site to Project Foundation. I believe this is the only site, the only store on the internet or physical or otherwise where purchases will be directly supporting the wiki itself. Um, I've been working with uh, uh, Dexanote, who is set up as the treasurer for, for Project Foundation, and basically just let them know I'm going to be setting aside the money. Um, PF is not far enough along yet that it can actually hold the money, so I am basically just setting it aside uh, in, a, uh, in an account in my accounting software, and when the time comes that we are ready at the wiki to receive the funds, I will send it on to however the treasurer uh, directs me to. Um, this is, the, we, we do so much of creating and we have a, a huge amount of infrastructure that needs to be built for uh, Project Foundation to actually happen. And and Project Foundation, if, if you don't know, is sort of the term that we've given for the migration to our own self-hosted, self-built platform. There's a lot that's going to go into that, from the programming effort involved to the servers and bandwidth and all of that stuff. It is going to require initial capital to get going, and I am setting aside uh, 5% of of gross profits that will be going directly to Project Foundation. Um, additionally, this is the only store, to my knowledge, that will actively seek out and pay the artists whose work is being used. I have an artist profit-sharing program set up, and I am very pleased to uh, let you guys know that the first uh, member in that artist program is none other than the incomparable Sunny Clockwork. Um, they have uh, been working with me on uh, kind of hammering out what exactly we're going to do. So the artists, when I am using an artist's work for one of the different uh, product types out there, and I'm still going to get to that, um, the artist will receive 15% gross profits. Right off the top, no questions asked, no work required. They don't have to do anything but give their approval to the to the cafe store, and if it's something that requires a high-resolution image or a vector image, provide me that vector image or high-resolution image, and that is the limit of their involvement. Uh, once a month, they can receive uh, they can receive cash, uh, PayPal, credit card, whatever you want to do. Uh, if you're an artist and you have work that will do well in one of my product categories, uh, then I want to work with you and I want to see that you are rewarded and that you are, are being, that you're being paid for your work, that you don't just have a situation like I see a lot of websites that are selling products that feature things that other people have created. They're not doing anything but creating an account and uploading an image and saying, yeah, put this on a shirt. But they didn't do anything to really have any any standing to profit off of it. Now, that's not to say that what they're doing is illegal. Our Creative Commons license allows for it in almost all cases. Um, there are a few edge cases where the imaging rights are uh, not released. But they can do this, and I'm not saying they can't. I'm saying they shouldn't. And what we, what what I am doing, is setting up this system where the artists benefit directly from their work, while having to do very little to take part in the program. Um, I'm also going to be setting up an affiliates program. So if you are interested in uh, making a little money yourself, if you want to uh, spread the good word. Uh, try some of these products out, you know, and, and you and you like them, uh, by all means, you know, there's going to be the option to register as an affiliate. You'll get an affiliate uh, code. It can be, uh, it'll be a very simple link. And uh, from that point on, uh, any purchases made within the next week on the website, you will get uh, 10% right off the top. So uh, you can kind of see the, 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 the profit involved is being split up 
uh, a few ways uh, right off the top. And that's because this is a community effort. So the community by and large, uh, you know, should stand to benefit from it. And it, particularly in something uh, with as many different moving parts as as the wiki, um, I have broadly split up the product offerings into uh, I, I am going to be selling apparel that's going to be uh, shirts, potentially some uh, hoodies and zip ups and so on. Uh, I have uh, vinyl decals. Uh, these are professional grade. I've already put one uh, on my car. Uh, there's going to be some pictures available on the scp.cafe website. Um, I have ID badges. I've got a uh, professional grade uh, ID badge printer. This thing was about $3,500 new. Um, I haven't, I'm waiting on some pieces, parts to arrive to get it going. Uh, I'm not sure yet how good the quality is. I can tell you the fucking thing's really heavy because <laughs> uh, I had to uh, get this fucker unpacked and boy. Um, but uh, I also have uh, some soft enamel pins that are being, uh, that are being fabricated, uh, as we speak. And, uh, those are being shipped in. And, uh, additionally, uh, this is, uh, my last piece of this is going to be poster printing. Um, I'm still looking for the right tool for the job for nice, high quality, uh, poster prints, but that is something I do intend to offer soon as well. Now, um, all of that said, I also want to bring up that the business of getting you your package, uh, the shipping and handling and, and packaging materials and all of that is something that I've actually spent quite a lot of time researching and getting set up. And the all of the materials used in the packaging and the shipping of, of everything is going to be 100% uh, recycled materials, and in some cases, reusable. Um, the mailers that I have selected for uh, sending out shirts are made of 100% recycled material, and they are actually reusable. They have two little adhesive labels uh, on the inside. I use one and ship it out, and when you get it, you can tear the one strip off and uh, unpack the little adhesive on the second strip, and you can use it the next time you need to ship something out. All of the packaging and the paper and the shipping labels and all of that 100% recyclable stuff. Um, this is something I feel pretty strongly about. Um, I think some of you have seen my Prius, uh, but I also uh, worked, uh, my last job before this one was for a state agency. In particular, it was for the environment department. Uh, the environment is something I have a, a you know, I'm, I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of the environment. Uh, so there is, there's a lot still to do. Um, I have the if you want uh vinyl decals i'm your guy i've got that stuff set up right now um and those are uh you know they're their work but they're pretty uh, i've gotten pretty good at it i can bang these out pretty quickly and get them shipped out now i am not accepting orders yet uh, in fact if uh, i have not even uh mentioned or linked the site and i believe i will um, right now, if you try to place an order, you'll see a little note at the bottom that says, uh, you know, if you order something right now, I'm not ready. I might just take your money and spend it on beer. Now, I don't think I would, but I might. Um, what I, so I'm, I'm not going to link it yet. The store is actually not quite ready. Um, I have a lot of products still to put on it and I have some, uh, decisions to make with regards to things like apparel. I'm working with, uh, very large apparel companies. They can ship me, uh, blank shirts. I will get them, uh, get designs. And I have learned more about putting designs on shirts in the last two months than I ever wanted to know about in my whole life. Um, there's a ton of ways to do it as it turns out. And there are pros and cons to most of them. And given that this is a, uh, a small endeavor right now, I don't have the means to sink thousands of dollars into inventory. Um, I have to make some decisions still on which method I want to use. Um, and over the short term, as the store opens, I need to get an idea of how quickly it all moves. Um, you know, what, uh, how the, how the first runs of shirts, uh, are produced and how they come out may not be indicative of what I do in the future as it, as, uh, the site 
picks up and more people uh, place orders, um, the uh, you know as the time investment goes up, uh, it it becomes more cost effective to look at other ways to do it. So uh, a lot of things still up in the air, and I'm going to sneak in a coupon code right now. The coupon code will be cafe C A F E. No special accents. No nothing. That will work for three days after the grand opening of the store. That will take 25% off your entire order with no minimums. So that's kind of the score right now. Um, My studio has been slowly accumulating all of the different uh, machines and work surfaces and so on required to to do this stuff. I've got a professional grade vinyl cutter behind me that's about four feet across. Um, It's a freaking monster. I have an ID badge printer that uh, I think I threw my back out trying to get up on my table. Um, There is, I'm rapidly running out of working space here to actually record the cafe uh, podcast, but um, I'm really, really excited about this. Um, I feel like we have generally lacked a good place to to buy this stuff. It's, It's coming from all over creation, and for the most part, you've got situations where people are not getting their fair share of it. And I want to be sure that the right people do get their fair share. It's one of the main uh, drivers behind building this. And I want to be clear, um, I am not doing anything in this setup that a normal user couldn't do. Um, If you want to set, you know, if if you're running a store, you're running a business, you want to set aside some money for Project Foundation, absolutely knock yourself out. If you let me know, I can even tell you who to talk to. our, you know, artist profit sharing, affiliate systems, all of that stuff. Um, these are all things that, you know, the fact that I am on staff honestly has nothing to do with it. Um, the staff know about as much uh, going into this as, uh, as you guys did. So this is something I'm doing as, you know, as a fan, as a creator. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited to get it out there. Um, I will be revealing the link a little bit later. Um, it's, it's a, it's a little ways off of ready and, um, hopefully, uh, as I get a little farther along, I will at least put up, um, I'll, I'll, I'll offer the things for sale that I can sell now. Um, I'm waiting on things to come in. Um, I'm probably, uh, I'm probably a month away from having the pins in my hand. I'm probably two weeks away from being able to make uh, the ID badges and the shirts. Uh, maybe soon. Um, I'm still getting some things uh, hammered out with my supplier, and uh, but those may be very, very soon, um, maybe within the next two weeks. So all of that said, um, I'm excited. I, I'm I hope that this is something that is interesting to you guys. Um, I'm, we're going to be getting into it in earnest probably over the next month. Um, I haven't decided if I want to just open the store when I've got everything ready or let's just phase it in. Let's, you know, get the things out that that I can sell. And uh, when the other stuff comes, awesome news. Um, but, you know, stay tuned. I will be uh, providing updates on the normal uh, recap shows on Fridays and uh kind of letting people know where things are at but uh as i said the coupon code cafe i will not mention again i will not put it on any of the recap shows this is your one time write that down somewhere and uh i probably won't even make any mentions that i teased it uh in this episode going forward so all that said i appreciate your guys support so much um it's been I went into creating this podcast with with very little expectations and as the as the listenership has grown and uh I'm getting, you know, uh, all of this, you know, fun positive interaction from people on it, uh I'm I'm so happy that I've been doing this and I'm really happy that I am uh that that I'm capable and able of taking this next step into uh, doing something that I believe very strongly in, in, in supporting the wiki and supporting the artists and supporting the environment. So that was the big show. That was the big reveal. Um, week eight podcast still scheduled for Friday. 
Um, I will see you then. And until then, keep reading, keep writing, and I'll see you on the other side.